Oh, I forgot mascara. We'd have to run back in and get it. My eyes look naked without it. There's no put in, point in putting it on. Um, uh, eyeshadow if you're not going to wear mascara. Ashley is in the laundry room getting dressed. I am swapping cars with Jason. He's heading to work. It is 7.45. And um, we are heading to cheer. Yes, you heard that right. 7.45 a.m. Quarters of the game without rain, would you right? We had rain in the third Wild quarter. Corner. No, we had we, we were fine up until half because they got yeah. to dance in without the rain in the uh -huh. halftime performance. Their dance was very, very cute. Um, the other team, the other cheer squad, got to perform their Halloween dance. Um, for you guys that didn't, well, that their their choreography was a little bit different in the beginning, and then I didn't show the rest of it because ours is going to be really, really cute, don't you think? It's gonna look really good on the field. Um, so they're gonna perform their Halloween dance next week. Um, but during the last half of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, miserable rain. <laughs> Just, the girls were cold before it started to rain, so I was handing out hot pockets. I, that's what I call them, hot pockets. The heating the heating hand, hand warmers or whatever, I was handing those out like crazy. Um, I was warming, warming them up in my pocket and then we were putting it in their wrist if you don't know, if you can put your hot packs on your wrist, this is the main artery for your body. So if you can warm that blood with the hand warmer, then you warm the blood going to the rest of your body. So you get warmer faster. And then some girls are just so skinny and so little that they could not get warm. And so we have them stick. They were so embarrassed. Everyone who did it was so embarrassed. She was like, I'll do it. And she just yeah, put Yeah, like didn't five. have a problem, but there was another girl. She's like, you want me to put it where? <laughs> I was like, she you kept, know, she I'm like put it, she put it underneath the, this first and I was like, honey, that's not going to work. And then she put it under the mock and I was like, honey, I see a black bra under there. And she's like, and we're, they're still having to stand in line. I'm trying to be discreet. I'm standing right in front of her. And she was like, you want me to put that where? And I was like, do you want to be warm? Yes. What so then she stuck it down into her bra. It's not going anywhere if it's in your bra. And she was like. Oh, okay, I understand now. I understand. Okay, so just one, and I was like, no, you can put two. Oh, yeah, that feels good. And she stuck another one down in. <laughs> She's like, everyone's watching. I'm like, no one knows what you're doing. They can't see you. Your back is to the entire audience, like st sitting in the stands. So, very fun game. We are going to and they Starbucks. Would be like, I would do that too. Like, it's I fun. know. We are going to Starbucks, meeting um, her friend yeah, and the other coach. Um, they're gonna get a little warm. Are you getting a warm drink or are you just getting a 
your regular cold yeah ice. You're, I'm like you're not getting a warm drink um I haven't had breakfast yet so I don't know what I need to do I'm probably need to just go home and eat but Anyway, fun game, just a little bit miserable. Everything got soaking wet. I was trying to like zip everyone's backpacks up as it started to rain. I literally missed one pocket and her phone was in her side mesh pocket. <laughs> I was like, well, you know. Her phone was fine. She had was it fine? She had a case by case on it. Okay. It was good. All right, I'm at home, done editing. And yes, this this is happening very soon. We're gonna fill those out. Everyone's taking a chill day. She's by the fire. Um, Ash, why don't you take some more meds just to get your feet, feet feeling better? Yeah. Yes, I'm taking the everything in the kitchen sink. <laughs> Actually, it's the kitchen drawer um, out to the garage here so that I can fill this. It's just easier if I fill up the apple container with the apple drawer. Um, but my friend Vince gave me um, a bucket. I don't, maybe I told you guys. He gave me a bucket of like what he thought was bad apples. He said that like people don't like the small ones. But he also put like actual bad apples <laughs> into my one of my, one of my buckets. We're gonna put you down right here. Hang on. Okay, there we go. So this bin that's right here, it does have what he called bad apples. But I don't slice that off. He also calls thumbprints bad apples. There's just some bruising on these. They're just bruising. If we eat them right away, you guys, I love it. Look how, I mean, look at how big these things are. He called that a bad apple. I might actually make a small batch of applesauce, just fresh. Some of the bad apples are bad. Some of them are pretty bad, but others we just need to cut apart. They're bruised, they're okay. He just didn't want to sell these. This was after everyone had left our group, but he had, I think, two more groups to take his apples to. These are fine. But our girls are absolutely loving these apples. I think we've already filled up this bin once before. Oh, see, that's, yeah. That's a bad apple. I'm gonna have to go wash my hands. So he, yeah, see these little ones. There's nothing wrong with them. He said people don't pick up the big, the little ones. Um, so anyway, the girls are loving these, but they're also loving caramel sauce. And we're not gonna go into Seahawk game day without a few snacks. And I thought it would be kind of nice to have some caramel sauce for game night tonight. Thought I would take that for my game night. Treat, Jason's feeling pretty good. He's working today, felt good enough to work out last night. First time he's worked out in probably a month and a half. I'm not even joking. He has not worked out. See how many good apples are in this bin? Actually, no, I'll just take some of my good ones. Someone gave me the idea um, I was going to go get my nails done this weekend, my toes, because my friend wanted to take me for a pedicure, but, um, schedules didn't quite work out, but I was mentioning it, was it one of you guys? Was it one of you guys who mentioned this? I can't remember who told me. They said that they took a, a bag of apples to their salon and gave it to their, 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 where's my yard waste bucket? It's supposed to be right here. I don't want to go back there because like that will just start yapping. Where is my yard waste? <laughs> I have to have a yard waste bucket. Did he put it on the side of the house? It's not even our side of the house. All right, well, anyway, they took a cute little bag of apples 
to their nail artist salon. So I am gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna get a little cute gift bag from my stash if we end up going to get our, I don't need these nails done for another two or three weeks. Um, but I don't wanna give the little apples. I wanna give her some of the big, big apples that are the non-bruised ones so that she can either take them home for herself. I, I know the owner now where I go. There's a piece of candy melted on the floor over here and I keep, ew, gross, I keep stepping on it. Anyway, I'll take it to her next time I go to the nail salon. And yes, I haven't brought that bucket in because anyway, I'll get it later. Also, I know my child very well. Um, remember when I was um, hungry at Target the other day? I had no plans to make these myself. <laughs> and I can't show Ashley except for her cute face because she's just standing here in her sports bra. That's what all our girls do. <laughs> um, I knew she'd get bored at some point this weekend and we would have fresh, I can't show her, fresh muffins made. <laughs> sure enough, she's hopped up, she's found the muffins in the closet. She had no idea we had them, she didn't go with us. And um, she's gonna make some muffins for us. So, all right, well I, I didn't take that container in. I'll take it in when I get home. My hands were all sticky. Um, so anyway. We're gonna go get some caramel sauce and I have to go to the P.O. box. I feel awful because, no, I was just checking for my bag. I feel awful because I've known for a few days, maybe even a week, <laughs> that one of you sent a little card, maybe even like more, more of you, I don't know. Um, they have sent a card, most likely to Abby. <laughs> and I have quite literally added to my list, go to P.O. Box. Check P.O. Box. Package at P.O. Box. And I have literally gotten home and I didn't go to the P.O. Box. I've had my keys to go to the P.O. Box all week long. Today's the day. I'm gonna go there first so we don't forget it. And Abby is at work right now um, and she probably won't be on camera when she sees the letter, um, but I will show the card afterward and maybe behind the scenes she'll say thank you. She also wants to thank all of you for your kind words to her. Who's calling me? I really hate the, the spam calls. I don't know what I hate more, spam calls right now or election text messages. <laughs> I already know who I'm voting for. I don't need you to convince me and I don't want to join any election crew. It's fine. But anyway, um, wait, that didn't answer, did it? No. Uh, Abby, a couple days after her surgery, um, read through the comments on her surgery video um, of her, and, and a few others, like just leading up to her surgery. Um, she read all the comments um, and kind of just sat quietly. She didn't, she was like, all these people wrote messages? And I was like, mm-hmm they were thinking of you and they were wishing you good luck. And it really meant a lot to her. I know you guys don't see her on here um, at all. Um, but it meant a lot to her to read your comments and know that you were thinking of her. So thank you. Um, that is, you know, just an overall thank you um, for all your support to her. It, it, honestly, it's like she didn't even have surgery. I mean, she is back to working good shifts at work. She goes to school just fine. Um, so she's doing pretty good, but I will show her whatever cards we end up getting from the PO box uh, uh, when she gets home from work. If it's tonight and she's home before I leave for our game night. Um, otherwise we'll do it tomorrow. So. I also just wanted to get out of the house. I don't know, I get like kind of stir crazy. But I do want to go cuddle up with um, a show. I want to finish watching Lincoln Lawyer. I started that with Jason yesterday at the new season. He doesn't care about continuing to watch it because he hasn't watched the first seasons like I have. Um, but it, I got kind of into it again. So I want to sit down and watch it and I have time. 
I have three hours, four hours before our game night and Jason's home, so I think I deserve to go and hang out and watch. Um, yes, I could probably go for a walk right now, but I don't really feel like having to shower again and my hair is, it doesn't look great right now, but it's clean and I can make it work for church tomorrow. And I just, I don't wanna mess with that. <laughs> and I know a walk would do that. Also, I'll show you when I get home. My, my new jacket is gonna be here um, and I will show you that when we get home. It says it's gonna be here between four and seven tonight. So um, hopefully, hopefully in a, an hour or two, we'll be able to show you my new, my new wa walking jacket. It's, it's a walking jacket. It's not a, a running jacket. <laughs> All right, sure enough, it is, I'm gonna cover up her address. You know, my P.O. box number. Little card from Patty, so thank you. I will give that to Abby. I'm not even gonna open it. It's for her. She can show me when she's got it open. Um, I'm trying to decide to go to Trader Joe's because I know they're gonna have a good caramel sauce there. Um. Anyway, but I needed one more, one or two more things from a regular grocery store, and I don't want to make two stops. So I think I'm just going to go to a regular grocery store real quick. And then I was tempted to go to Marshall's because I have time um, and get a Woodwick candle. Um, I need a new one for the season. And even Jason, we were looking for that candle for Chelsea's friend for her birthday the other day. And he was like, oh, Woodwick candle? He was like dead serious. He's like, candle aisle we're going to look <laughs> he wants one we love the sound that they make and they're just so like comforting during the um, winter my ear itches <sighs> all the time I'm always itching my ears someone says it's a, a symptom of you know what over 40 and I believe it because it they itch all the time <laughs> I love my life all right, we already have a problem. <laughs> Everything is sounding good, even though I'm not hungry. But I'm gonna take some some of this um, apple cider to our game night tonight, but then have it for just around the house. It's super good warmed up. Um, and then I just, you know, I'm planning ahead. Just, you know, stockpiling. <laughs> and I guess I am kind of hungry for a snack when I go watch my movie. I may or may not have taken a nap on the couch. It was really nice. <laughs> I need to get some of these cups from the garage to go with our cider that I got. Jason got some apples to take over. Did you check if they were good or not? Okay. I thought it was. Um, and I've got some chips and some cheese dip and our caramel dip in here. So I think we're ready to go. Go and hang out with our friends. Leave that on the counter. Leave, where am I covering up? Her address. Um, leave that for Abby, she's still at work. So, um, okay, we're gonna go play games. All right, we've warped back to the house. We had a great time um, playing games. I'm really tired and I've had this jaw issue. My jaw up here gets really sore, sore just right here and just this side. So I'm gonna go tuck myself into bed. But Abby got home and opened her cute card from Patty, thank so you, thank, thank you. you. And she texted me while we were there at our friend's house and she's like, look what Patty sent, this is so cute. So it was a sweet note um, to her to get well and also some retail therapy. She gave her a Sephora gift card, so thank you so much. Like, that's Abby's language. <laughs> You, you nailed that one very well. Um, so we are gonna sign off with you guys. I just, I'm tired. Um, we're gonna go to bed and um, we will, I don't know if I'm gonna film tomorrow. On, we'll girls. just see. Um, Bedtime. We got too much candy. Our friends gave us these. And we had too much so we didn't even pull out the licorice that we bought at Target the other day. So we're gonna sign off with you. Are you laughing over there? She. She's always laughing. She, Chelsea's always <laughs> just hiding. She, you can't, can't even see her. There she is. Whatever she watches on, 
her phone when she sits here to eat her <laughs> meals. Am I allowed to say another channel or no? It's and not that bad. You made me watch an episode. It's not like bad. Well, but, no, and it's just to try not to laugh. Um, the cat I'm currently watching is. But she's um, laughing. She will <laughs> not stop time. She's it's watching a show. It. Whatever yeah. show she watches, she's laughing you every can't time. Tell me. I, oh, you can't. Sorry about. Yeah. Um, she's laughing every time we walk past her. She's laughing when she's. she's like, <laughs> so she's found some really funny shows to watch. But um, anyway, we're gonna say good night. You wanna on off face? Yeah. Yeah. The she does. Nice. It yes. Right I know. I showed it to him. But you can say it's, thank you. Yeah, thank you. She's also not wearing a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> she probably wouldn't mind saying hi, but she is also not wearing a shirt. We are just a house of girls around here. Um, so thank you again. We're going to sign off. Take care. Bitter taste I think I'll let it be